Yes guys, how's it going? Welcome back to a new video. We are now just one day away from Newcastle United playing their first game of the season right here at St James's Park tomorrow, three o'clock kickoff against Nottingham Forest. But first, we have got loads to get through in today's video. Eddie Howe has done his pre-match press conference where he hints at what players could start tomorrow. Obviously, he's been asked about transfers as well, so we will get into that. The squad numbers have been released, so if you've already got Trippier 15 on the back, you might need to head back into the club shop and get that changed. And before all of that, I still need to get my shirt ahead of the new season. So we're gonna get in the club shop, get my black and white stripes ready for tomorrow, and then we'll get into the video. Here we go, I've got a, a large and an extra large. I know that some people are saying the, the sizes are a bit mental, so we're gonna try them both. I'm sure one of them will fit okay. Normally a large, but I'm just gonna make sure before I go and spend 65 quid, um, I'm gonna get it right. There you have it, shirt bought. All ready for the game tomorrow, cannot wait. <laughs> and we're back and I'm wearing the new shirt, ready to go for tomorrow. Thinner stripes, which I much prefer. Um, badge actually sewn on, not stuck on. I like the collar, I like the arms. I am a fan of this shirt. And 65 quid, I don't know if I'm getting old or stingy or both, but what I do know, is the money is going somewhere. We've seen upgrades to the stadium, we've seen money spent this summer transfer window and we are still trying to spend more. So what I do know is the money we are putting in the club is definitely getting used. And I know people have gone out and bought the home, the third and the away and big up you. And I do want to get some of the training gear when it's eventually available in the shop. It still wasn't there today, but I'm told it's gonna be soon. But anyway, uh, I've literally just sat down and Eddie Howe has signed a new long-term deal with Newcastle United. So that is how we will start this video today. It has just been announced, him and Dan Ashworth um, shaking hands. Uh, Eddie Howe has signed a new deal, uh, well, one day ahead of the new season. They clearly, the new owners, are clearly a fan of what Eddie Howe achieved last season. I think it's great. I think it's great. They are rewarding him for the great job last season and in pre-season. We've looked really good as well. Um, I would love to see Eddie Howe take us to the next level. I would love it because he was the man in there early. We talk about players like uh, Bruno um, and Botman who have joined you know, before the next step. Uh, and I know some people have said, you know, Eddie Howe's for now, not for later. No, I would... Love to see Eddie Howe try and take us to the next level. We've got all of his interviews today that we're going to get through. He's talked about transfers. He's talked about um, players for tomorrow. We've got an injury update. I want to get through all of that in today's video. Uh, loads to go through. But just to mention now, he spoke about what he wants to achieve this season as well. And he had some really interesting things to say. So cannot wait to get into that as well. So well done, Eddie Howe, on the new contract. Um... You know, let's get this season rocking and rolling. We'll start off with the squad numbers. So when I was in the shop today, it was absolutely heaving. By the way, everyone is down there getting their shirt for the new season. Uh, the queue for names on the back was, was massive. So I did not get a name on the back of mine. Maybe we'll see how we get on this season. Maybe I can pop back at a quieter time. Was everybody in the queue? Because it's now been announced that Trippier will take number two. So if you're one of those people who had Trippier 15 on the back on the new shirt, uh, you might need to go back and change it. I think they should offer free changes. Uh, maybe that's asking too much, but I think they should do that. Uh, Botman has taken number four which we all knew was coming, and Newcastle announced it in an amazing way, saying, can anybody else just see a giant number four? Because on the old kit, we had the giant number four on the front. I laughed anyway. <laughs> I thought it was funny. Um, Dubravka keeps number one. Pope is number 22, uh, which I think we all knew was going to happen. Uh, Pope said that he didn't ask for number one when he got here because he thought it would be disrespectful, which is... You know, great. I mean, you talk about Wilson uh, did his podcast where he spoke about him and Chris Wood. And although they want to fight for a number one spot, they are still on the same team. They are still an attacking partnership. You know, had Pope come in and when I want that number, 
Yeah, no, you can see it in different ways, can't you? Because had he done that, that shows real hunger. But at the same time, why come in and rock the boat when I think he probably knows he's being brought in to be number one anyway? He doesn't need to rub it in by nicking his number. So, yeah, Pope, number 22. And uh, generally, most people had the same numbers. Callum Wilson, number nine. Uh, Maxi, number 10. Joey, number seven. Bruno, number 39. That was pretty much the same. But one that did stick out to me was Elliot Anderson. Elliot Anderson was on the list. He has been given number 32 heading into the new season. And as we get on to Eddie Howe's interviews, he did have something to say about Elliot Anderson, which, you know, I've spoken about Eddie, Elliot Anderson quite a bit. Uh, and I am a fan of a local lad rising up with the team and going back to the fact that players coming in, Eddie Howe being rewarded with a new deal. How great would it be to see... Anderson at the age of 19 play for us for the next 10 years like where we started beating that relegation by the time he's played his career over the next 10 12 years long 15 years who knows these days where can we be then I would love that story uh, but it's very early so I won't put that pressure on him do not worry uh, uh, Eddie Howe said I'm looking at his daily progression uh, physically and tactically, I have seen huge improvements in him. Uh, he can play a number of positions, which I will get onto in a second. Um, as things stand right now, he won't be going anywhere. And he will play an integral part in the season for us. Eddie Howe is clearly a fan. It's great to hear that he wants to keep him around. And something to bear in mind this season... Five substitutes. They have made that change due to the hectic schedule with having to play three games in a week. We've got, I think it's the end of this month or first week in September, we play three games in a week. Um, they put in the five substitutes to try and help and generally this helps Man City because they've got two squads. For Newcastle, who don't have the deepest squad but have a player like Elliot Anderson who can be that player that comes on for 30 minutes. Eddie Howe saying there he can play in a number of positions. I think in a time like this where there is going to be a lot of games and a lot of um, substitutions to have a player who can come on, he can play in the middle, he can play that attacking role, he can sit and make those tackles, he can probably he can play on the right, he can probably go left and he could probably stand next to Wilson up front as well. So to have someone very versatile in the squad and from what we've seen of him in pre-season as well is, is very energetic. He's, he's very in there. Um, and I think we'll see a lot of that this season. Having five substitutes, three substitutes, really. Not to say that I... Um, I think three was fine, to be honest. Again, maybe I'm being old and stingy again, but I thought three substitutions was fine. Uh, I understand why we've done five. It'll be interesting to see whether they change it back to three next season. I think five helps the teams with better, with more players. And maybe in a couple of years' time, that'll be Newcastle and that'll benefit us. But right now, it's not just yet. Um, and it's not really fair on the teams who are coming up or, or whatever and don't have as many as many players. It's more of a disadvantage. It's a, it's a benefit to the teams like Man City, is what I'm saying. But I think this season... That's why we want to strengthen in all positions. That's why we need an extra striker, why we need an extra winger, because there's going to be as much rotation as possible this season. So it's great to hear about Elliot Anderson. Eddie Howe was asked about the game this weekend. He was asked what would be an achievement for this season or what would he like to do sitting there this time next year and what will we have achieved this season? And he actually said... Good question. <laughs> uh, and he didn't really quite know how to answer that one. And I think it's because Eddie Howe plays his cards very close to his chest. He never wants to say anything that, you know, can be looked back on or, or give his game away. Uh, but one thing he did touch on, which is what I was alluding to earlier when I mentioned he'd been given that long-term deal, is he really spoke about the success that he hopes to bring to Newcastle. He actually mentioned a cup run as well, and said how much he would love to bring a trophy to this club. I know we talk a lot at the moment about where, how can we do better in the league? Can we get top 10? Can we push for Europe? And I feel like that's what the interviewer was actually asking him. Like, do you think Europe is the achievement? 
But Eddie Howe turned that quite well and said, you know what it is? It's actually, um, I'm sure Europe is, is definitely in the back of his head, but he's not going to say that in a live interview. Instead, cup run. And no one's really talking that much about that. Um, would you take eighth and a final of a cup? Or would you rather see Europe? A guaranteed Europe spot over a cup run? I would love to see us win a trophy, let's be honest. And Eddie Howe knows that it's been a long time since we've won anything. You know, that's the way to get himself, well, I was going to say a new contract. He's already got one. So he knows that that's something that we have to try and achieve. And we have not had a cup run in forever. Um, so league aside, I thought that was a very clever answer. Uh, so well done, Eddie. And it's not something we've talked about a lot. So yeah, cup run, let's have it. He was obviously asked about the game tomorrow and what he hopes to see tomorrow and he pretty much said that he wants to play our own game. We've trained throughout all of pre-season and the end of last season on his style of football. Eddie Howe from the moment he came in said this is how we're going to play and this is how we're going to do it. It's almost like it was his way or the highway. That was the way he wanted to play football and we saw it at the end of last season. The possession based, free flowing football that's what he wants to do on the pitch tomorrow. And I know um, Nottingham Forest are a very decent side. I did a full preview yesterday if you want to go and check that out. Or I'll be back tomorrow for pre-match, post-match. So be sure to subscribe. Do not miss out on all of the daily content at the moment. We're not going to talk too much on Forest today, but they will be up for it. I just think, or I hope, that with the Eddie Howe style of football, free flow and possession, we will actually just keep the ball away from them. And we will hopefully be able to dominate this game. Uh, it's very weird saying that. It's weird to think about us having the ball for more than the opposition. Because that hasn't really been happening for a very long time. And I think it's taken quite a long time for Eddie Howe to get it in the heads of the players. Stop hoofing it. Let's actually pass it. Um, but he spoke very highly of Sven Botman in the interview as well and I am a person who has been saying that I thought it would be Bernard Shaw to start centre back tomorrow yeah I think I'm moving over to the Botman side to be honest because Eddie Howe really bigged up the guy um, in the in the interview basically saying that um, he's very comfortable on the ball he, he said along the lines of he's our kind of player he's the kind of player we want him to be and he's been extremely impressive in pre-season and we and we've seen that as well we know how good he's looked um, so despite what I saw in the preseason, yeah, I think I might have changed my mind now. We don't know. We won't know until it's listed tomorrow. But yeah, I am potentially changing my prediction on that one. And we did get a little update on injuries. John Joe Shelby still has the hamstring problem. Apparently he's in London tonight getting an assessment on that. Lewis and Fernandez are working their way back. I don't know if they're coming back, to be honest. I don't know if that's them out of the squad altogether. Uh, Mankio is in training, uh, but isn't quite ready. The three of them, Luis Fernandez and Mankio, I wouldn't be surprised if they are three players who don't make the squad this season. Potentially not their fault. Lewis had been bigged up quite a lot going into this preseason and has never featured due to injury. So has he lost his space? You know, just unfortunately, I think that could well be the case. Now then, let's get on to transfers. Eddie Howe was obviously going to be asked about transfers and Eddie Howe did his very best to give away as very little as possible as Eddie Howe always does. He was asked directly about Madison, which we'll get on to in a second. But just to start things off, he said that we haven't got the free reign that maybe uh, people perceive in the media which we kind of already know as Newcastle fans. Uh, we know financial fair play is an issue. We have already spent 150 million in the last 10 months. We are still working to spend a little more, but we know that we can't just splash as much cash as everyone might be thinking outside of Newcastle. Um, he said that again in the media, they think that we can sign whoever we want um, and pay extortionate fees and wages. Uh, we are not in that position. I don't think we will be um, for some period of time. So, yeah. it's it, Well, first of all, it's Eddie Howe. He's never going to give it all away. Of anything, he's going to play it down as much as possible and then over um, 
like overproduce. He is going to undersell it and then hopefully we will see more this window. He was asked directly about the Madison links. He, d he said that I'm not going to talk about individual players. Um, I have respect for them and their club, but we are working hard to try and add to the group. I think what is making things even tougher, and Eddie Howe said this himself in a separate interview, is that we are only trying to, or he and Dan Ashworth are only trying to target players who will improve our current squad. I, I see that as improve the eleven. To be honest, I think they don't want to just go out and buy him and him because it bulks up the squad. I think we could well get to that point at the end of the window. But I think right now they've got a small group of players that they are trying to target. And that's why it's, it's so tough. I don't think we are spreading the search particularly wide because Eddie Howe knows the type of player he wants. First of all, there isn't that many of them out there. I think he wants Premier League proven as well. I don't think we're, we're particularly looking abroad at the moment. I think that's why Madison was such a big one and why the fee was so high. Um, and then to add to that, as I say, unless Eddie Howe believes they will make a dramatic impact on the current start in 11, I don't think we're looking at um, new substitutes. I don't think we're looking at new squad players. I think Eddie Howe is probably okay with the squad um, to buy for the sake of buying. Um, he has said as well in the interviews that he is very frustrated with this summer window. He added to that that he's not frustrated with our club or our owners. Um, he didn't say this, but we understand that they have given assurances to Eddie Howe that there is money available and that we can spend. He just said that he is frustrated with the general window right now with the current transfer market. There is not a lot out there. And you think... To Ekatike, you know, I don't want to talk about him, to be honest, but we'll talk about him for a second. We offered more money than Paris Saint-Germain did, but he went there. Um, so you cannot say that we have not tried to get players. It just didn't work out in that particular instance. And he has said that he's very hopeful. So Eddie Howe said that he is very hopeful we will bring players in. Uh, and hopefully it will be ASAP. I think that Ashworth and Howe were working to try and have players ready for this Nottingham Forest game. We haven't managed it. But the games are coming thick and fast. And the time Eddie has to bring these players in is running down. But overall, uh, big up to Eddie Howe. With his new contract, I do think it is fully deserved. He has spoken um, about the long-term future of the club. He is happy or very happy to be committing himself to a long-term future. And when he's talking about things like winning a cup for the club and where can we go and what is the next level, he's saying all the right things and he's been saying all the right things for, for a while now. And as I say, after what a fantastic end of last season... Um, if we can, you know, replicate that second half into this season, um, you'll be worth every penny. So thank you for watching, guys. Drop a like and subscribe if you are new. If you are still watching 20 minutes later and you haven't subscribed, hit the button. We will be back tomorrow with the pre-match chat. We'll be back after the game with the instant reaction, with the vlogs, and hopefully it will be a win for Newcastle's first game back. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you later.